let's start so it's your chemistry class now assalamu alaikum students very formally and uh, we'll be starting today's class chapter number 2 uh, is in progress and uh, we have started the liquid portion yesterday okay so what are we going to do today today we'll be doing uh, as usual few sentences uh, basic revision and then the main topic viscosity there is only one topic viscosity liquids no definite shape but fixed volume right diffusion is possible in liquids like you can see over here but the rate of diffusion is much slower than gases secondly the diffusion would be faster in liquids if we use hot liquids means temperature plays a vital role in mixing of liquids clear diffusion is faster in hot liquids and slower in cold liquids as you can see that uh, the two liquids are mixing over here i used a term miss miscible miscible means having same nature uh, liquids having same nature are uh can be mixed together like ink and water have the same nature ionic uh, semi ionic nature like uh, petrol and alcohol can be mixed together no oh, sorry alcohol and water can be mixed together and so on what else compressibility uh, since the molecules of a liquid are already very close to each other so we we can't compress a liquid to a greater extent but if a very high pressure is being applied then uh, the liquid can be compressed little bit right means i want to say that it's not possible uh, suppose you have uh, one liter of pepsi then you you just can't compress that one liter pepsi into one glass of water uh, into one glass not possible expansion so expansion is liquid is visible like mercury in thermometer when the temperature is more the column of the mercury rises and if the temperature is less then uh, the mercury which is a liquid mercury is a liquid then it uh, contracts so liquids expand on heating and contract contract on cooling expansion is an endothermic process expansion means uh, something uh, is increasing okay like the column in the merc uh, in the mercury thermometer is increasing so the mercury is, is absorbing heat and this is called endothermic process endo means in which heat is being absorbed okay and the reverse of it is exothermic in which heat is being lost so what what case, uh, case it would be it would be the contraction in expansion this is endothermic in uh, contraction this will be exothermic like you keep like you put some water in the freezer compartment of then what will happen the water will lose its energy that would be exothermic water is losing its energy to convert into ice so what is the bottom line here bottom line is liquids expand on heating contract on cooling secondly when you heat a liquid why is the liquid expand because its molecule will start vibrating to a greater extent greater extent means 
they will have more volume. Expansion is there. And contraction means, contraction means you, know, you are reducing its energy. When you reduce the energy of the molecules, their motion would be decreased. Decrease means they will uh, uh, need some less volume. Means contraction would be there. Okay, so what is the main topic today? Viscosity. Suppose you have some pigmented uh, water like uh, blue ink in a beaker and you have uh, something uh, like uh, honey or oil in another beaker and you drop both the beaker at the same time. You will see that honey is offering some resistance to flow. Honey is lazier than water. Honey is taking more time than water to flow. So in science, we say that honey is more viscous than water. Honey have more viscosity than water. Okay, why? Because honey is having more resistance in uh, flow. Whereas water is uh, comparatively having less resistance to flow. So that is why different liquids have different rate of flow. Why they have different rate of flow? Because they have different viscosity. Honey is more viscous than water. Similar, for, let's suppose suppose we have different uh, chemical uh, liquids. One has corn syrup, another one is milk, then honey, and then olive oil. In these, if we drop the spheres of the same nature at the same time, right? Then in milk, it will reach to the bottom quickly. Then corn syrup, then olive, then finally honey. So honey is showing maximum resistance. That is why we say that honey is more viscous than all of these, okay? So what is the point here? In the, the different liquids have different viscosity. What is viscosity? What is the definition? The internal hindrance, the internal resistance, the internal barrier offered by a liquid to flow is called its viscosity. All right? Okay, and what is the symbol of viscosity in science? Eta. Eta is the symbol of viscosity. Clear? Now, why is this so? See, you can see a picture over here in which molecules of a liquid are shown. Each molecule is being attracted by a number of mole other molecules. If this is attraction is greater, then the liquid would be viscous, more viscous. If this attraction is less, then, then uh, the liquid will be less viscous. So what is the reason of this viscosity? The reason of viscosity is intermolecular forces between the molecules. So see, it's written there, intermolecular forces between the molecules occur in all directions, okay? That is, the molecules are attracted mutually in all directions. These attractions are responsible for viscosity. If this, uh, the, uh, these attractions are greater, then the uh, liquid would, would be more viscous. If this is less, then it would be less viscous, okay? So intermolecular forces are responsible for high or low viscosity of a liquid, okay? So what are the units of viscosity? The unit of viscosity, the assigned unit of viscosity is you can see on the screen, 
newton second per meter square so if you see an mcq what is the, uh, which which mcq dash is the unit of si unit of viscosity the answer is newton second per meter square all right what are the other, other units phi newton second per meter square is the si unit and which is the other unit phi or centipoise subunit sub multiple or millipoise this is the this is important that one poise one poise is equal to 1 newton second per meter square or 1 gram per centimeter these are uh, these are the units of viscosity and which is the si unit remember newton second per meter square all right now if we, if we want to measure if we want to know the viscosity of a liquid practically then we use a manual instrument called viscometer that is why you can see, you are seeing here on the screen the instrument used to measure the viscosity of a liquid is called what is called viscometer okay this is the latest viscometer digital now there are different factors on which the viscosity of a liquid depends think cooking oil when it is not hot it is very viscous okay when the cooking oil is not so hot it's viscous but if you increase the temperature of of the cooking oil you will see that it has become thinner less viscous it means it means viscosity is decreasing by increasing the temperature as you increase the temperature viscosity will decrease as you decrease the temperature viscosity will increase so these are inversely proportional so we say that viscosity is inversely proportional to temperature if you increase the temperature there would be less viscosity if you decrease the temperature there would be high viscosity why is this so because by increasing the temperature uh the molecules of the liquid will have more energy and when when they have more energy they can go here and there quite easily means they uh, the viscosity decreases okay number 2 there is another factor intermolecular forces as i told you if the forces are greater viscosity would be greater if the viscosity if the forces if the intermolecular forces are less viscosity would be less right so if the bonding is strong high viscosity if the bonding is weak less viscosity okay another factor is their size of the molecule if the if the molecules uh, are of bigger size high viscosity molecules of a smaller size less viscosity just take an example from our daily life suppose you have uh, uh, some pebbles or you have some little marbles you can easily uh, move them but if you have some big pieces of stones it will be hard to move so same, same in case of liquid if the liquid uh, if a liquid has bigger molecules its viscosity would be high the smaller molecules its viscosity would be less right shape of molecules are, are also plays an important role if the molecules are of regular spherical type they can they can flow easily 
I mean, uh, if they are irregular shaped, difficult to flow. Again, consider an example from the daily life. You have marbles, glass balls in one container, in one beaker, and little stones in another beaker. You, you want to pour them. The marbles will come out quickly because they are of spherical, of the same regular shape, whereas the pebbles, whereas the little stones will take more time because they are of irregular shape. So shape of molecules also play uh, uh, some role for the viscosity uh, of, an, of a liquid, right? Density. Density means how much a liquid is dense. Suppose uh, you have water in one beaker and in another beaker you, you took water, but you added in it five or 10 spoons of sugar in it. Means obviously uh, the sugar added water is more viscous why? Because its density is high. It has become high dense, dense uh, liquid. So having high density, more viscosity. Having less density, less viscosity. Clear? Last two minutes. Why alcohol is more viscous than water? Because in alcohol, we have an extra bond, an extra attraction. Which is what is the name of that that, that uh, attraction? Hydrogen bonding. Okay, so hard, due to hydrogen bonding, alcohol is more viscous than water. Water just simply have uh, less uh, power of hydrogen bonding as compared to ethyl. Last slide. Viscosity plays a very important role in our daily life. In a sense, if you want to transfer some liquid from one place to another, like oil or this or that, or water from uh, ground tank to uh, the upper tank, you will need some machine, right? That machine is installed on the basis of viscosity of water and considering the other factors also, right? So viscosity tells us something about how many horsepower motor is needed to convert, to transfer a liquid from one point to another point. Viscosity also plays in some important role um, in lubricating system. For example, we use in engine oil to, lub to lubricate the various part. The oil which is used in engines is very thick, it's quite viscous. Why? Because in, in uh, engine becomes too hot. So if we lose, if we use less viscous oil, it will not be so good. It will drip off. So might be used, uh, if, uh, you have seen that the grading of the oil is done on the basis of viscosity like this. Is just for GK, general knowledge. You, you can see on an engine oil, on the can of an engine oil, some code words are written, 10 W40. What does it mean? It means the viscosity of this in winter would be 10, whereas the viscosity in summers would be 40. Summer means high temperature. So that is why the viscosity is changed. All right, that's all for today. Again, you have to write a note on viscosity and submit on the glass, uh, Google Classroom. That's all for today. Next topic is surface tension.